So uh, services run say some record is there to check it like some record is there. So I believe I did some testing. There is some record in the in the application. So you see the our our some record two hundred seven is there. Exactly what we are defining of sequence generation. Well, let's create one of the record uh, by a postman test uh, by a postman test. And so it's a record. We just put it like some entries data. Just I'm too lazy. Just put it nine nine nine, and then hit the hit the database, and then. So you see the 208 and then 209 and 210s. So we can also get methods that the very straightforward. And those are new into the developments. Just like look for the previous screencast, you get the clear understanding of definition of URL and then definition of the service implementation and the controller definition with the with the with the Swagger and uh, Open Swagger APIs. So we have a record 210s. Let, let's say 210. We define 210, and then with some information for the user role creation. So 110s and one two, and then 111s and 12s. So we can go to the database levels. How it is, it is it's properly coming into the database level. So we can go to the. We can see Docker. Uh, Docker Docker. Uh, Docker processes. Maybe you can see the Docker processes. How many processes running? Of course, there is a four or five process. Four process running. We can go to the database. Docker exact execute and the interactive mode, and then you can pass the the container ID. So it is the database container ID. PSQL the clients. We can uh, put it like user post keys because we are using post keys user as a default user. We see the post keys user. <laughs> What's up? So application look like properly running, but I don't know what's what's happening there. The command itself. So, so you see the database take times, but it's coming. So we can see the the information. Uh, the information about the tables information. You see the our migration script is there. And uh, the full of flyway migrations. That's I said that those are new into the into the migration and developments. Please follow the previous one. We see that our four migration data is there. I already discussed about this all things in the, my previous screencast. So we can see is that our record is there properly handling is properly coming into the into the containers. So so you see there's a 207, 208, 209, 210 is really properly coming into the, our backend server back post keys database and then see the user role we define the user role 10 it has three two role uh, three role defined 110 112 11 112 so let's let's do the same test with the with the with the with the with the with the, with the swagger ui so if i go to the swagger ui let's go back to the swagger ui and then we can create one user so try out and try out that one so it has a te template we just simply lazy typing uh, just simply copy paste something from here in the postman's and then put it like here uh, we can put it here so and then do the executions And so the 212 is there, 213 is there. So last record 2213. So it's, it's working with the Swagger UI, the all the definition of the REST, REST API documentation properly handled. And now uh, we can let check it like into the backend server as data is coming properly in the form the Swagger UI test. We see the yes, 12, 11, 12, and 13 is there properly coming. And also we can do some user role creations like it's a user role creation with the specific user registration id and we can see 213 is there is not 
and then we can copy paste for typing typing reason to saving our times so go copy and then we can go again here the paste and then put it like 13 and it has a row definition 100 100 113 and then so, so on so forth 14 15 and 13 and then so on so forth so the test is you can check if this data is there coming properly what we are expecting the role definition you see 13 is linked to the four four or five records into the user role definition that's like how it is works how it is done and it's just follow the my previous screencast how the implementation is done so is everything is working properly so now we can check it like the 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 our, our matrix information this you understand how that it's done i will do some testing to you. information we can see that our all the metric prometheus matrix informations it is all the information that we we have so we have required so you can have the plus 15 minutes or 13 minutes to all the record informations weeks and then maybe day uh, two days just so we see that all the application the what recorded information where it's done uh, last two days in the, all the flex informations exactly the, the the information that we are looking for the metrics and depending on which are metrics there is a too much too many many metrics that you need to process and to do it uh, depending how the your requirement is is, is is running it's depend on you so we have it all the all the prometheus information what we are exactly the the configuration is working and all the possibility that you need that needs to be do it here and also you have the the in by the matrix information the exactly the all the metrics the 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 information uh, what the uh, prometheus produces the all the matrix information that you are visualizing the here this with the graphical presentations or something like that you can also visualize some that's colors presentation depend there's a lot of possibility to handle the visualizations and then you have it, uh, also the matrix information for the Prometheus and the Gafana. You see the, all the Gafana information, and you also uh, visualize the whole Gafana information that you need. You know, that's I said the matrix information you need to visualize. We can go the default dashboard, maybe uh, discard. Uh, sorry, uh, we can discard it. Cancel, and we can go to dashboard. Uh, it's good. So, oops, so, and dashboard, it has default dashboard, you can see, and uh, default dashboard, I don't, default dashboard is why it is happening. Coming. Uh, something okay we can say default dashboard is the see the matrix information uh, you can visualize the all the matrix information that uh, the Gafana had some records some data is still loading even though you can also visualize some other information so you see the the matrix uh, from the from the from the Prometheus also by the Gafana because this we already flag it like this way it's have some data is still loading no data i see some data is there the target space uh, five minutes and space duration and so on so forth this all the information what you need just you have all the possibility really a lot of possibility to visualize you all the uh, information uh, uh, you, you your microservice application information why it is important because of the because nowadays if you think about one simple uh, simple amazon page or google page or facebook or yet youtube page there's maybe there's 20 or 10 or 15 microservice call to build the one single page applications that's the reason it is important to monitor the all the microservice application that you have that you need to 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 see how it is works and how it's the handles that's the reason i try to give it to you how can you professionally set those uh, uh, monitoring device tools like spring boot actuator and then prometheus and then Gafana, and how can you visualize the all the informations uh, uh, with the different possibility 
with the with the with the Spring Boot admin. I, that's I had it in the previous screencast. And also you can use the same matrix information can be visualized with the Prometheus. That's I already discussed here. And after that, you can also link to the Prometheus information to the Gafana. Then you can also the really straightforward, the really beautiful uh, uh, GUI to, to visualize the, all the information, the, all the interactions with your, your microservice application. Doesn't matter in the microservice application, you can visualize the web application. It's up to you. But I will try to show you because as like the microservice, if you have a 10 or 20 microservices, you need to be clarify or, or you need to be maybe some some dependency with one microservice to another microservice then this you can check all the monitoring process okay here all the microservices is properly running then you can finally deploy the application into the productions release and 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 qa departments or you can install the application in the hundreds of thousands of machine in the cloud platform that's the basic idea why I try to give it to you the basic understanding and the professional basic understanding and plus a really professional structure. I understand that for those who are new into the developments and the pressure, it's understand it's hard to understand, but if you understand one times and then it's really easy. It's I, I promise it's really, really help you how we did in a professional lives, everyday professional life, how the implementation done, how it is be handled, how it is need to be program it, how need to be configured it, how can you deploy the uh, deploy the your application into the different environments, different process, and with with including your 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 backend servers. So you see that everything is what we are expecting, what is running, it is everything is working. So just follow the channel, subscribe the channel, write down comments and ideas. We will continue in the further development. Let's have a check some some extra information that we are looking for. We we can see also the log information for your Docker container. We can see the processes, Docker processes, uh, Docker process there. So it says Docker processes. We can see the Docker logs. Uh, that's like basic commands. So we can log in the Spring Boot application log information. That's logs and Docker Compose ID. You see the all the log information from the from the Docker from the your, your Spring Boot application. You see the all the interactions what we did and what you did last time. So you see the all the process uh, checking the your SQL script in the real time application, real life application. Normally we don't do, do the don't do the do the do the do the do the SQL to SQL script need to be show. But the, for the demo application, we just showing it. But in the we said it like false, then it just doesn't show you. So we can go to the again the in the process. We can also check the Docker log informations and logs log information for for your 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 uh, your, your, your uh, Prometheus applications. Maybe what happening in the in the Gafana? Maybe let's say uh, the Gafana application to check. The log information from Grafana. That's exactly the what is application is doing. What's the inspect and then all things. So it's all the application what's in behind the scene. The log information we need to be checked. So the, all the Grafana settings, the, all the interactions, the, all the metrics information, how it is running, and the, all the information you can also log in. It's too much information, but we don't need to be. You don't need to be understand, but it is running. The, how can you inspect when you need it? Then you can inspect the. Uh, the all the information that you need that you require so so let's have a check the the prometheus part uh, the log information and then we can see the the prometheus log information logs and containers <clears throat> so the all the logs informations the your prometheus uh, configurations then then with the request and response and the, all the metrics information that you need that you define into the you know different levels and when it is called and the, all this piece information so the all levels of information that is there so you can just simply uh, simply uh, simply simply look for it if the log information is something wrong you can log it and investigate it and then you can quickly fix it and then set, settle where it is the or what's happening into the database even though you can look for the database level in the, all the containers information, that's still possible. Anything, everything is possible. The, all the process checking, you the, those are here don't like to use the Docker desktop tools. Just use this one also. The Docker 
the command lines you can do everything what you in the command line is located just just follow the channels i i believe it's really help you a lot uh, into the into the your real life application real life professional career so i say now goodbye bye bye we will see you later i will continue further to yeah to implement or to deploy the same application with the docker and kubernetes just follow the channels i believe it is help you uh, to into your career uh, into your professional career now is bye bye goodbye